Bringing together leading contemporary artists from around the world and from across Africa, the 2010 Fine Art Project is one of the largest and most ambitious international art collaborations in history. It's the first time in the 80-year history of the FIFA World Cup that fine art on this scale has been recognized by FIFA as an official licensed product. 2010 Fine Art is a visual celebration of the world's most watched sporting event and is inspired by the return of the world to Africa. And it all begins right here in my hometown in Durban. I'm at the Kizo Art Gallery in Gateway where the story of this fine art begins. Barbara Mark is one of the directors at the Kizo Art Gallery helping to put African art on the map. Well, first of all, I'm born in South Africa, and so is my husband, and um, Kizo is our gallery. We just feel that South African artists haven't had the opportunities that overseas artists have had. So what we want to do is to give them um, a place to be showcased and to make them be able to be seen across the world. That's quite a story. My husband got this brainwave um, in the middle of the night one night that he needed to get art for FIFA and for the World Cup. It's never been done before. So we approached um, FIFA, they gave us a license and we went with it and we got hold of amazing artists and we're so excited because it's the first time ever that art has ever been done for a World Cup. Art and soccer have both bring people together in a very big way. It brings races together, genders together, ages together. They, when you're talking art or you're talking soccer, people tend to forget their differences. And it has a very, very good strength and power of unity for, for people. Art is something that if you buy it and you take it home and you put it on your wall, it is going to be there as a permanent legacy for the rest of time. It's something that people look at on a daily basis and remember, do you remember when I was in South Africa for that World Cup? There are two different collections. There's an international collection and a local collection. Um, the local collection, there are about 25 artists. And the international collection, they've taken five artists from each participating soccer team, from each participating soccer country and they have pulled them together as a collaboration. So you're going to tell me a bit about the art now? Fantastic. Um, the first one I want to show you is Keith Calder. He's a bronze artist. They're all bronzes that are soccer positions. They are selling for 110,000 Rand plus VAT each. Clint Stradham is a photographer who's based here in KwaZulu Natal. And he took brand new soccer balls and swapped the brand new soccer balls for their balls that have a story to tell. This is um, an amazing thing. When you look at it through the light, through the lens of a camera, or from far enough away, it all of a sudden comes together and forms a picture. Can you see what that is? That's a person laughing. Can you see? Oh, well, this is so cool. Oh, nice. How artistic is that? What if it went right past me? Can you see it? And my cabin Muteki has been labeled as the Van Gogh of Africa. He um, is a well-known artist. He's done this whole range for 2010, which is so exciting. It's very textured. You can feel the movement. Yeah. You can see the movement. This is like 3D artwork. Art is going somewhere. People, watch out. <laughs> this collection will offer football fans and all lovers of great beauty a unique opportunity to acquire for themselves a piece of the excitement and passion of the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Captured by the world's greatest artistic talent right here in Africa, isn't better right here in Durban. 